got smoked by a big fish, busted my line in this pool here. Morning YouTube, welcome to another exciting edition of Black Creek NZ. Huh, exciting. We've come up to a beautiful little mountain stream in the middle of nowhere to fish for some big brown trout today. However, upon arriving at the first beach, it would appear that maybe every man and his dog has been here, so oh, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen once you start heading out the bloody river. I picked up some good six pounders out of this river before, a uh, smattering of five pounders lately. There's cicadas in the trees, there's just the littlest bit of breeze starting to poke around. Hopefully breeze won't be the deciding factor today. The rod's rigged up. We're starting today with, uh, we'll go for a raw wolf with a size 14 pheasant tail flashback on the dropper. And we'll see what that does, see if we can get anything to rise out of one of these tannin pools. Who knows, who knows what's going to happen. No doubt there will be some snags, some swearing, probably some big bloody eels chasing me out of the river, but hey, Black Creek Ops, anything could bloody happen, as long as you don't find diggers or cows in the river. Diggers or cows, yeah, they ain't so flash at the moment, they're on the shit list. But, right, enough waffling, time to crack on. So it would appear that um, there are no human footprints around, just some bloody giant dog prints that are uh, not too much smaller than my hands. If anyone's out there is missing a very large dog uh, in the lower North Island that took them up into a pine block, uh, give me a yell, PM me, and I'll, um, I'll let you know where the spot is. There are no human footprints on the beach, just some bloody big dog prints, so relatively fresh too, so maybe he's still up here. Maybe the dog is still cruising around. Who knows? Who knows where the dog is? Who let the dogs out is probably the question we need to be asking. Beautiful spot this. Absolutely cracker. Jeez, you think I'd bloody learn after spooking fish all these years. I just saw a Something I thought was a fish down there. It looked like a fish. I watched it, but it wasn't moving. Pretty sure I'd already spooked it. But then I took another step forward and swam off. Probably about a four pounder. Crikey. Just goes to show. Right, so today's motto. If I think it's a fish, it gets a cast. Even if uh, the trip takes a little bit longer, we'll, we'll roll with that mantra today. Anything that looks fishy, gets a cast. Bugger. Cicadas. I can hear cicadas. I wonder if it's worthwhile throwing on a stimulator. I wonder if I'm better off using the stimulator than the Royal Wolf. If I'm thinking about it, I should probably do it. Just starting to come up with some bigger pools now, so with all the cicada activity around, just going to a little bitty Clark's. 
We'll see if we can lure anything up from the bloody depths. Well, a slow start to the day. A couple of missed opportunities. And you seen two. Seen some nice water. Probably walking past heaps of fish. That's a bloody nice fish, that's absolutely made my day. I cast up the middle of that run there and she came back and hit the hit the cicada. She actually turned and, and came for it. Lifted the rod, brief scrap down through those rapids and into the net. A couple of quick photos and on her way. Bloody awesome. So I'm going to have another crack in that run. She was down the tail of the pool which makes me think it's probably going to be something else maybe up the head. We'll send the cicada back up. She was worked once, may work again. Um, Clark cicada, pretty good New Zealand pattern. Middle of summer, the bush is full of cicadas. I'm guessing uh, with all these cicadas, if there's anything like my bloody cat, my cat's been bringing in bloody heaps of cicadas at home. The kids absolutely love it, but it's a pain in the ass having cicadas buzzing all over the bloody lounge floor. That's a pretty bad comparison, actually. But we'll leave that in anyway. Who cares? It's Black Creek Ops. Anything goes. sticks out as much as a sore thumb it must stick out a lot because a thumb bloody hurts and when you're left-handed having your left thumb not working properly is a right bloody pain actually it's a left bloody pain but well after hauling in that bloody fish it looks like I've done myself a bit of a bloody mischief. I've um, reattached my thumb with some strapping tape. Had a bit of a balls up carrying a chili bin full of venison just after New Year's and uh, it hasn't come right. In fact, if anything, it's probably getting worse. 
no, no need to really call out Westpac just yet. Westpac, you can stand down. Um, it's a better price, 16, as far as uh, evacuations go. But shit, she's a, uh, she's a bit bloody sore. Hopefully, uh, by using half a roll of strapping tape to hold it all back together, um, the next fish I hook up won't bloody pull it off. Getting beaten up by a fish. That'd be a bit bloody embarrassing. Took a bit of bush bashing to get up around that uh, that last gorgy bit, but it popped out of the stunning looking pool, perched up in the bush, overlooking a big tannin coloured pool. Cicadas going off everywhere. Can't see any fish though. They'll be in there somewhere. Well, it's all a bit quiet at the moment. I've seen some nice pools, and the sun's pretty good at the moment for spotting, but I'm just not seeing anything, eh? But there are fish in here, and there are big fish too, so it's a matter of perseverance. I think we'll stop now for some cheese and crackers, and then we will carry on. Hmm. Oh, cheese and crackers, check it out. We are moving up in society. We have cheese and crackers. The camera's running low on battery, so it'll be pretty sparing of the use, but I just got smoked by a big fish. Busted my line in this pool here. Saw him come up, hit the dry. Everything just went ultra tight. There was a massive head shake, and then that was it. Five pound line snapped. Must have had a bit of, uh, bit of chafing on it from a rock, maybe from that last one. Bugger. I checked the gear too. But Shit, what can you do? That's fishing, eh? Snakes are coming out. Big enough that he get a trout, buddy. Hurry up. Probably make a bloody good feed. Well, I think that might be us for the moment. Can't this gorgy bit. Should I go for a wade? Should I go for a wade? I might sneak across this bit and. Have a look up in the tail of that, and then that's us, we're calling it quits. Walk back, jump in the wagon, and head home for a kai. Been a pretty hard day's fishing. Got my ass kicked by a bloody good fish. Came up, smashed the bloody raw stimulator, and disappeared with it, um, never to be seen again. And uh, got a nice fish to the net. Pretty bloody good. Radio. One last look before the bloody batteries die. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. I missed a strike. That may have been the chance blowing. Bugger. Cheeky little fuck. I mean, cheeky little 
little bucket. I thought it sounded like a very aggressive tape. I know there's big fish in there, but I'm being tormented by a little fella. Just a bloody cheeky little one having a go at me. Hit the bloody uh, dry a few times, aggressive little bugger. Well, that's us. A little bit of waiting to do. A little bit of waiting. The things you do for YouTube. Oh yes, there they are.